Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and in today's video, we are going to update you on a couple iOS accessories that I've been using over the past few months and, and highly recommend both of them right off the bat. That's a spoiler. And hopefully, we're going to have a third one here that I just picked up at the Apple Store today. And uh, I've definitely been looking forward to checking this out for a while. But first and foremost, I want to talk about the accessory that I'm holding in my hand. This is the iRig mic from IK Multimedia. You can go to the Apple Store, you can go to Best Buy. No, it's not at Best Buy. You can go to the Apple Store, you can go to Amazon, and also to their website, and it costs around $60. And I really do feel like this is a great audio accessory to the great video that you can shoot with your iPhone 4, as well as your 4S in this case. And that's what I'm shooting this video on right now, my iPhone 4S. So great video, and now, especially with a voice like mine, where the internal speaker from the iPhone 4S and then the 4 before that doesn't pick it up too well. This microphone is a great buy for $60, as well as the fact that it does have three settings, because right now it's a little quiet here, but there are noisier environments that I've taken this microphone into to shoot video or even record a podcast with, and you can set the setting on whatever you want. You have three choices. Right now, this is on the middle setting, which is usually what I use it on, in every case, it seems to match up with my voice in any background noise. There's a little bit of wind right now, so I don't know if that's coming through. If it's not, that's awesome. So the other one is actually attached to the tripod and is holding the iPhone 4S right now. It is called the Glyph, G-L-I-F, and it's $20 on the Amazon store. And I uh, picked that up, and that is great for uh, attaching your iPhone 4 or your 4S to any tripod at all. Uh, you have to take your case off. I don't have a case on it right now, so uh, just be mindful of that. But other than that, it's a great accessory. Easy on, easy off, slides right in, made of rubber. It does not scratch your iPhone 4 or your 4S at all. And I really enjoy using the uh, Glyph and the iRig mic in tandem like I am now with my tripod. Now, the third one is called the Olo Clip. And uh, just like Glyph, this was a Kickstarter.com project. I have to say, this has gotten uh, rave reviews as well as the Glyph. This retails for $69.95 at the Apple Store. You can get it online too, but I have, as far as I know today, which is January, I don't even know what day it is, but whatever day it is, it's been back ordered quite a bit. So they happen to have them in stock at the Apple Store, and I decided to pick one up. This is a three in one photo lens, has wide angle. Let me see, fisheye, macro, and wide angle. And uh, this may be uh, the way to delay getting a full DSLR for me because I really want to play around more with photography, but I don't want to go out and buy a 60D or even a T3i with a bunch of lenses. I'd rather just carry around my iPhone 4S right now and test out this particular product and uh, see how it works. As so we're going to attempt to do this uh, video on the Clip 3-in-1 lens. Uh, with the iRig mic in one of my hands, so I'm going to try to do it one-handed with this unboxing. These are the lens caps that go on. You can see they match up to each side of them. And also you can see that there's a little slot that you would slide it over your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S camera. You can possibly see that it says all clip on that side and upside down, but it says wide angle lens, and you turn that lens off for macro. Now here is the fish eye lens. Pretty simple uh, to do. So if you want the three lenses, the two of them are attached, and then you would just unscrew the top part of the wide angle to get the macro. So, you know, let's do some test shots and maybe even one test video of me uh, with the wide angle on. And maybe we'll try to fish eye too and see what that looks like. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we attach the uh, wide angle lens to it. It took just a second to do. It slides on very easily. It doesn't feel like it's going to scratch the iPhone 4S at all. And uh, hopefully we got more of the area where I'm standing in the shot. So let's try the fisheye lens out next and see how silly that looks. 